Hi, I'm Mike. I'm at Windy City Rails again, and I'm standing here with uh, Steven Anderson, who runs the Mad Railers, and the uh, uh, he's involved with the Madison Ruby up in well, Madison, Wisconsin. So, uh, welcome. Um, thank you for uh, taking a few minutes to talk with me. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about uh, what Mad Railers is and what you're, you're doing up in up in Madison? Well, Mad Railers. Uh friend and I started that in early 2006, right after we did the first Agile Web Development with Rails book in a book club. Okay. And he went on to start teaching Rails at the Tech College, mm -hmm. and uh, and he and I launched the users group. Okay. And I inherited the user group uh, from him a few years later. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm still involved in running it. Uh, many other people mm -hmm. help run it as well. Yeah, uh, and it's really blossomed lately. We typically have about twenty people at a, a meeting, and we have a wide range of things we do. Uh, the next couple will be focused. Uh, next one will be uh, introduction for newbies, kind okay. of introduction to Rails, and the one after that we're going to split in two. We're going to do um, Cohen's and Katas. Okay, uh, so people a, can choose a which more they of a hands-on, and then also more of a lecture, talky type. We've, kind of we've traditionally been kind of oriented towards having people talk on a subject, mm -hmm. but um, I'm personally trying to move us towards more doing, and I'm going to resurrect uh, ha open hack days again, and other people in Mad Railers who want to host uh, hack evenings are welcome mm -hmm. to do the same. Um, I like to do the days just because uh, a full day lets you bite off meteor problems. Yeah, and uh, the the uh, when I talked to Jim Remzik uh, yesterday, he kind of described that uh, uh, Madison has a very interesting culture. And uh, has that something that, like, with the Madison Ruby, tries to make sure that it really incorporates the the local flavor of 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 Madison into the conference? Is that something that's affected how you? Work with Mad Railers, that it has uh, medicine has its own unique culture and and and, and vibe. Well, it, it certainly does. Um, we don't talk about it much mm -hmm. at Mad. Because well, you're all in medicine, so we're all in fish medicine. doesn't talk about the sea. Right, yeah. right. Uh, but as Jim and Jen are running a Madison Ruby conference, mm -hmm. they're very focused on that mm -hmm. and exposing technologists from around the, the nation and the world. Mm -hmm to aspects that are wonderful about Madison. And the Madisonites who participate in the conference love it as well mm -hmm. because it opens our eyes to things that we hadn't been thinking about. Yeah, it's just something that's maybe kind of hidden in plain view. You see it all the yes. time, but come in and everybody kind of has yeah. fresh eyes. The other thing that's really awesome about the conferences that uh, Jim runs is the the way they bring in master crafts people mm -hmm. in other crafts, people who are not Ruby and Rails or not programmers or designers, but come and talk to us about their craft and their passion. Yeah, and uh, it seems like the favorite talks are generally not about Ruby and Rails. Yeah, yeah, it's something that's a little bit unique. Yes. Uh, but kind of jumping back to the the hands-on, you said you like to do them during the the, the hands-on sessions. You like to do them during the day versus the night. How do you work that with people's schedules? I mean, most well, times we do user groups at night because that's when people are off work. Well, what I do is I just kind of say, hey, I've got the energy to spend a Saturday and to host an open hack day. Oh, so on the weekend I post day. it okay. and and. Anyone and everyone who can make it mm -hmm. is welcome to join. But it's not uh, on a I Wednesday. It's it's on a generally a weekend. It's generally on a weekend, okay. and it's yeah. something above and beyond the regular meetings. Mm -hmm. And another idea that I want to pitch to the user group is something we did at Bendy Works, our our software company. We did an internal conference, and we're about to do our second. Mm -hmm. And there's a really great dynamic in having. You know, very you know, amongst friends, mm -hmm. by and for friends. Yeah, it, it's a very low pressure introduction for speaking yeah. to many people. Early Geek Fest was yeah, yeah. yeah. and I want to pitch that to the group. I think that would be uh, pretty wonderful. Imagining something along the lines of a bar camp. Yeah, yeah, those are a lot of fun. Low pressure, 
safe environments. I mean, that's mm -hmm. probably one of the best things I think about user groups is they generally provide, once you've kind of established a presence in the group, it's a little bit safer and you don't feel that like coming to a conference and having to stand up in, in, in front of 100 plus strangers. A dozen or so people that you know seems yeah. to be yeah, much softer and can lead to bigger and better things. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, uh, just real quick, we kind of mentioned before we were, when we were chatting about um, Bendy Works having kind of an interesting relationship with other, what might be other competitors. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, so, you know, you, you showed me how your laptop has stickers from a half dozen uh, companies that might otherwise be called competitors if you were maybe vying for the same market or... or uh, well, it's part of the joy in what we do. Mm -hmm. We're participants in a community that is so, so friendly and so supportive. Um, and we're experiencing, you know, a market with enough demand that... Frankly, most of the time, our problems are along the lines of who can I trust to refer a client I can't help right now right. to rather than, oh, I have to, you know, scratch and claw to land the next gig. Right. Um, that's a pretty wonderful spot to be in. Yeah. And it's so much fun to talk to other people who are running shops like ours mm -hmm. and swap stories. Yeah, and has that been something that uh, you know that you're a consulting firm that you're involved with the community has that ever been something where you've have you ever hired somebody out of that you've met just through the user group oh yeah the well Bendy Works itself uh, sprung into existence as a side effect mm -hmm. of um, supporting the user group mm -hmm. amongst other dynamics but uh, yeah I started uh, helping the user group and, and doing things and talking about Ruby on Rails and teaching mm -hmm. Ruby on Rails uh, without ever thinking it would become a company. Oh, well, yeah, that's an interesting way to, to go about it. And also, it's been our main uh, source of, of employees that every, you know, support the community, right? help people grow skills, and every now and then, somebody really stands out that it excites mm -hmm. us that we want them to be part of our group. That's very interesting. So it's 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 a uh, very synergistic ecosystem that you build the, uh, the the group, you build a framework for people to be able to come in and safe and have fun and share and learn and grow, and then you're growing and then you start your own company and then you're able to help these people come up mm -hmm. you know, and, and and they're all having a good time. So the worst case is they come out and they have a good time and they learn something new. The best case is, yeah, they come and they join Bendy Works. Yeah. You know, so. But there's other outcomes too. Like, uh, I really enjoy helping somebody who might become a Bendy worker mm -hmm. and, and see them join a different interesting company. And Rails has really blossomed in Madison. Yeah. Uh, there are so many shops doing Rails now where when we started, it was kind of like, what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's it's, this thing you're talking about? Yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, it caught on a little bit more into the yes. mainstream. Well, thank you very much, Stephen, for taking thank the time know. to speak.